what is up everyone and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make smooth mountains in roblox studio there are many ways to do it but i'm going to show you mine and it's pretty easy and fast and the outcome is pretty good so let's begin so the first thing that you're going to want to do of course is open up is open a new map if you want to do terrain or any kind of thing don't do classic base plate because because there's no reason to just choose flat terrain because it's Logic. more logic um, and it's more easier to deal with the terrain so there we go open that up all right so here we are all right so here we are and um so the first thing that we're going to do obviously is open the terrain editor tool right here under home right next to the toolbox and then what we're going to do is head over to edit replace and then we're going to go down here and then on this one, on the, on the material settings, on the source material, we're gonna click air. This one right here, where it has like a dash. And the target material, we're gonna do grass. And there we go. Once we click replace, it's gonna load a chunk. A, um, it's gonna load a uh, mountain or, or a block, or whatever you wanna call it. So keep on doing this. there we go as you see I made a decent large uh, map and let me just leave everything lighting because we don't need that for now now it looks pretty plain and stuff but now if you go to plugins right here you go home and then you go plugins right here click on part of terrain this is a plugin that I'll have the link in the description I suggest you download it right now it's pretty good and basically what you have to do is insert a part there you go and put it however you want because the part to terrain plugin is going to transform the part into whatever terrain you'd like so for example for example grass or snow or, or rock anything you like um, you could do the same thing with replace but then you can't but you can't rotate the um, can't rotate the terrain so that's not the best thing out there so parts of terrain is better for now. So basically what we're going to do is, it doesn't have to be per perfectly precise, but it should be kind of on target at least. And we're just going to make diagonal things like this. And we're just going to make parts that go like this, up to the mountain, how you want a mountain to go. Um, and also what you can do is to make it more, to add more detail to it. You can add multiple of them on a single block, and I'll show you how to do that. So you take one, you put it pretty far away, you rotate the first one, then you duplicate one, another one, and you put it, there you go, then you can add some more, and there you go. This is basically the, uh, the more detailed way to do it. You can do this however you like. It's not always going to be like this, it can be different, yours can be different, of course, but this is, this, this will do, this doesn't. This is not that bad, I guess it works, so I'll do I'll do this for now, but if you want to have a real you want to have a really detailed map, I guess this is the um, the option to choose. Let's continue doing this until you got all of the um, all of the the chunks ready. So there you go. I know it looks messy and I know it doesn't really look like anything for now, but watch till the end of the video and you'll see that you can turn this into something way better. So one last thing is that if there's a gap here, you shouldn't have that. So you have to make it all the way until there's no gap here, otherwise there's going to be holes in your world. It might cause some glitches or exploits, stuff like that. So now's the time to put in the plugin. You go to plugins and you go in part to terrain you just like I showed uh, earlier the link is gonna be in the description and basically all you have to do it's gonna pop out this window here and you're gonna click whatever material you what you'd like and for example for now we're gonna just just choose grass and all you have to do is just click on the part and it's gonna turn into that material and it's gonna turn into that material like that And this 
also and it only works from a distance so if i go really far then it won't work anymore but you have to be you have to be at somewhat close distance to it for uh so so that the plugin works and then what we're gonna do of course this looks ugly as heck so of course we're not done yet so of course it's not done yet so what we're gonna do is go to editor and then go to edit and then click on the erode tool which is right here and then basically remove all of these all of these sticking out chunks And then what you're going to want to do is go to editor, click that again, and then go to edit, and then click on erode, this tool right here. And then you can customize this however you want. This is what I suggest. Uh, I think the, these are the settings that I suggest you put, but you don't have to. You, you can do it however you like, but um, these are mine, so, so yeah. And then just remove all these sticking out chunks doesn't have to be a lot all right so there you go then what you're going to want to do is go again to the editor thing and go to grow and put this pretty and put the base size between 40 and 50 or 30. you can do it however you like but it's better if you keep it uh pretty large and then what you're going to want to do is just make this a bit curvy instead of completely flat what I like to do is just start from here, hold the left click button and just go on the side and just move to the side constantly without stopping. Then going back, not big enough, and then do that for every single layer that has to be done. If something like this happens, when if it's like sticking out and you can't really add more, it's just going to make it a... a Kind of hanging cliff then you can just use the erode tool again Alright, so once you've done that, you should have something that looks kind of close to this. N next step is to add these little curves on the top to make it look like they're, like the, to, to make the mountains look a bit different. So just add these little, little curves on top just like this, and it will add some more detail and some more beauty to your terrain. Alright, and there you go, and now there's basically a few steps left to do. So you're going to go to the grow tool, put, and then you're going to have to do these settings. Put the base size to the same that you were on before, the large one, and put your strength to uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, or, or put it very low. And then you choose rock, the rock material, and then you just slide across the mountains like this. Alright there we go. If it if you if it turns out looking something a bit similar like this, then then you're good. Uh, of course it's not done yet so that's why it doesn't look that good. So um, then you're gonna add ground and you're just basically going to do the same thing and also overlap the places where you put some rock to all right there we go and we're almost finished and the next step is do the same thing but with mud but just but don't add that much just add a tiny little bit less than what you did then what you did with the rock and the 
and the ground. There we go. And um, and then we're going to do the same thing, but with grass and just overlap the areas where grass isn't very visible to make it look, to make everything blend in. So once you finish that, we're almost done. All you have to do is go to terrain under workspace in the explorer tab. And here where it says material colors, you open them and make sure decoration is tick is is on true. This will this will make their have grass like that. See, so it's just better if you have a uh, decoration on looks better. And from here you can change all the uh, colors of the materials in your map. So with grass, I like to keep it the same color as it is, or like maybe a bit more realistic, maybe a bit more brown, a bit more light, I guess. Um, ground, I'd like I like to keep it how it is. Mud is pretty is pretty light, so I like to, uh, to make it a bit darker, like that. And then then rock, I like to make it really bright and white. All this is all preference. You can do it however you like. It doesn't have to be. Rock can be like this, but it can also look like this. It also kind of looks good. But because we have a mountain style, I'm just gonna put it gray because otherwise it looks like there's a bit of snow. And then this is completely optional, but if you want, I guess it's cool to add some snow on the top as an extra detail. So yeah, um, if you add snow, it just looks a bit nicer. But it's optional, it's just, you can do it however however you want it, of course there are no limits. Um, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some lightning to the game and I'll, I'm gonna be back with the final product after this time lapse. So yeah guys, this is basically my final product. AKA this is how it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna go test it right here in the game. Here we go, and now you can see um, you can see how, how big it is compared to us. Of course, it, it might be a bit laggy on OBS, but I guess you get the general idea. So it's absolutely massive, and you can do this un under around 15 to 20 minutes, which is really good. Yeah, this is uh, the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, this is ba that was basically it for today. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this, which might help you um, might help you become a better developer or help you in your game, whatever you're creating. I hope I really hope it helped. Leave leave a like, comment if anything didn't work out, or if you, if you have anything to share. Remember to join my Discord server because th that's where I'm going to be responding to all your questions. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.